Good morning. Uh, Sunday the 28th today. This van video will be maybe slightly different. I, I am still to work. It's working on van, but it's computery stuff. Now, I might get some uh, actual physical van building done today, but I might not because I am faffing around programming my inverter um, and me all my Victron stuff. And it's a bit technical. I've been reading manuals for days and, and I've had a bit of help from people online and I've been faffing and I think I sort of know what I'm doing. Right, so we're going to be... I'm going to, I thought it'd be useful for people to follow me trying to figure this out. Right, so here we go. Now, to connect to my inverter, you need one of these. Hang on. I don't know if you can see that. That is a Victron interface. It's a Mark III to USB. Uh, and you connect that from your laptop to your inverter. Now, right now, I'm in my I'm in house, in my den. Um, and you can do all this remotely. I've been messing with that. So, I'm, I'm, I'll just show you something. Hang on, let's have a look. I'm now, I'm connected to it at the moment. I'm connected to the VRM portal. This is my system now. You've got 97 watts coming in on the grid. AC load, 74, 74 watts. This is in the van. Because uh, I've got a light turned on it, van. On mains. And then you've got... I've got my solar turned on. So that's your solar flowing. Batteries are in float mode because they're 99.4% full. And there's a little bit of power going from the batteries to the DC loads. Because there's a light on, on. A DC light on as well. Now you can go to the remote console. Just connect now. This is now connecting to my van. Now, if you notice, where it says grid is now working on my last video, that won't working. I figured out how to do that. Um, what you do is you go to menu. There. It is, it's working it's slowly. My internet connection isn't very good to the van because the van's connected to my Wi Fi in the house. You can see there the signal's not good. Look, eventually it'll be connected to the Wi Fi that's in the van that's not set up yet. Anyway, so to get that grid showing, to how much power's coming from the grid, you've got a settings. And system setup, and then when it says AC in and AC AC in one and two, we've only got AC one in. Let's click that. Now, when it loads up, I'll show you when I hit the van because it does it straight away. It van. Come on. Oh, this is a good demo. It was working brilliant earlier. Right, there we go. It's just slow. Just an internet connection. Right, it, it was set to not available. So you change it to grid. Or generator, if it's running on a generator. I suppose you could have shore power, but shore power, grid, same thing in it. Anyway, so you do that. And then it actually then shows up in... Um, on your system I'm going to click pages and it should come back up right it does it instantly if you if you've got a good connection to it right so that shows you that and it shows you the power flowing etc now the reason why I thought I'd show you this is because I want to do a firmware upgrade on me on me inverter now, I've messed with all settings in here. I'll show you in van, it'll be a lot quicker. But I've messed with all my settings trying to learn about it. But when I go on here, look, 
Victron Connect Configuration Guide, blah blah blah, for VE bus products, right? Now, um, next, right, warning, straight away. The features described on this document are powerful tools. They are intended for Victron trained engineers, installers and dealers. Its usage must not be attempted by system owners and users. That's me. Not attempted. Well, I'm, I'm, I don't, you know, I don't listen to people's advice much. <laughs> I'm just, I've been, who's going to do it if I don't do it? I'm not going to pay for someone to do it, am I? Right. Configuring inverter charges and it requires both training and experience. Well, I'm training myself and experience is about how to go yesterday. Right. And except, look, oh, Victron offers no direct support for untrained individuals. Right. Okay. Um, settings are protected by a password. This, this password is provided by Victron Training. Please contact Victron. But anyway, I know what it is. I've found out what the password is. I've looked online, found it out. Right, what else we got? Now, somewhere, where did I read now? Um, this tells you how to set it all up. Oh, right. This is what I want to do. If you go across here to the firmware updates, right? This is what I wanted to show you. If it says firmware updates. It's not required to keep the, your Victron equipment up to date with the latest firmware. If your system's working great, leave it alone. It says here's when to perform a firmware update. During commissioning, first install, which is me doing, I'm setting it all up now, right? Troubleshooting and adding new features. This is where it tells you the firmware actual password in its three Z's. Easy, easy, it's on there. Now, it says here, warning. Reset to factory defaults, right? All settings will be reset to factory defaults after a firmware upgate, update process. So that's why I've set all my settings now, including what type of battery I've got, you know, me, me, me lithium batteries and everything. And I fast for that yesterday, setting it all up, reading manuals, and when I update the firmware, all them settings I've done are going to go. Now you can save them all, but I thought I'd, I've been reading manuals, so I thought I'd go through them all again. So when I update this this firmware, it'll go back to factory defaults, and I should think that where it says grid there, that won't be shown anymore. And I'll have to re-enable it all. And I'll show you what I did. Now, I did enable it like I just showed you. But I also used Victron Connect to go into the settings to tell it whereabouts I am in the world. So it knows what type of power I've got coming from grid. It'll come more clear when I show you. So the plan is first to reset the software on um, on, on my uh, inverter on my VE on the VE bus, right? So you can do it remotely, and I have sort of done that, but it's it takes a while because I'm in because internet connection from here to the van. And I've sort of forgotten what to do to do it remotely. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to go to the van, connect everything up using the laptop, and we're going to try and update the um, software, sorry, the firmware. Hang on, let's go back and tell you what. Firmware update. We're going to update the firmware to the latest for my inverter. Great, we're good at van. There's probably going to be a lot of editing on this video and a lot of faffing because I don't really know what I'm doing to be honest but I thought it'd be good for someone else to watch who's still sort of figuring this out like me you can figure it out with me if I blow my equipment up don't do what I've done alright <laughs> I'll be fine right to the van right I know it van 
as you can see I've got the multi plus connected via the flipping USB interface to my laptop and I've just tried to use Victron Connect <coughs> to connect to my inverter and it will it'll connect to to Kerber GX there but it won't connect to inverter I'll connect to that it won't connect to that don't know why <coughs> so I'm going to use um, somewhere else hang on there's Victron Connect which won't connect I have been using Victron Configure <coughs> so Yeah, it's got to be used by professionals. That's me then, obviously. Right, okay. Right, we're back in van. I've been reading again. We've still got a problem with the inverted charger. It's thrown a wobble it because I have a lot of I'm doing, basically. I should have to reset it, it says here. I've gone back into Victron Connect. And the defaults set all settings to default. It is allowed. It is not allowed to make this change in the settings without providing the grid code password. Oh no! I still need the grid. The grid code password to go any further. Uh oh. Back to computer. <laughs> oh heck. This is getting serious. Back to the Tinterweb. Bugger. <laughs> 